In this class, we will try to find it out the input impedance of a transmission line of a quarter wavelength length. Let us draw that. So, what we are saying is there is a transmission line where which has a characteristic impedance as Z0, load impedance as ZL. So, it has a characteristic impedance Z0, load impedance as ZL. The length of the transmission line is lambda by 4. So, the quarter wave, right? So, what would be the input impedance in this case? So, these cases are very common in solving a numerical. So, we are taking as a common topic. So, what I know the basic equation of input impedance is Z in is Z0 ZL plus JZ0 tan beta L divided by Z0 plus JZL tan beta L right. Now the interesting thing to note is what is tan beta L let us see that what is beta L actually. So beta L is nothing but can I say that beta is 2 pi by lambda right and what is the length length is lambda by 4. This comes out to be lambda lambda get cancelled this comes out to be pi by 2. It means it becomes tan pi by 2 and what is tan pi by 2? Tan pi by 2 is infinity right. So, this quantity is actually causing because tan beta L is becoming this tan term itself is becoming infinity right. So, how I will take care of this? What I will do is I will take tan beta L common. So, let us take tan beta L common Z naught tan beta L common. So, this become Z L by tan beta L plus j z naught in the numerator denominator will become again tan beta l common right. So, this will become z naught by tan beta l. So, it become tan beta l plus j z l right. So, tan beta l tan beta l get cancelled. So, this and this get cancelled. So, this is my z in. Now, tan beta l will become tan pi by 2. Tan pi by 2 is infinity. Z l by infinity. This comes out to be this quantity will go to 0. This quantity will go to 0. What about this? This quantity will again go to 0, right? So, what I am left with? I am left with z in is equal to z naught j z naught divided by j z l right. So, if I simplify this it becomes z naught square by z l and this is a very interesting equation which will be very common in solving a numerical. So, what we have concluded is z in will be nothing but z naught square by z l and this will be nothing but your input impedance when the length of the transmission line is lambda by 4. So, we have solved this and we have find it out z in is equal to z naught square by z l. We will be using very often when we will be solving a numerical on this right. So, we will see more on this in the next videos.